What's going on guys? I know it's a little awkward for me as Matt Mandu. I am uh, actually in the hotel now for Werner as this is part of my training and what I actually want to do is a breakdown of all the stuff that I'm, I'm doing. And now up on the screen now is what you can see is my limitations for uh, what I was allowed to bring. And then behind me here, you can see I have a backpack there. I can see, you can see I have a duffel bag in there. You can see I have my jacket. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break down because part of this is I wanted to repack it anyway. So it's all more easily accessible to me. Break it down so you guys can see what I brought because this is plenty of stuff and I probably even have more stuff than I necessarily need. And as you can see, each of my bags are packed to the max and ultimately so is my jacket. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to clear off the bed. I'm going to take out everything that's in my backpack. I'm going to show you everything that's in there and then I'm going to repack it. I'm not necessarily going to repack it so that it's in the backpack. I'm going to repack it so that it makes sense and I can easily access the things because the backpack itself, it has two front compartments and one headboard compartment as well as the main compartment. It has two pouches on the sides where I'm not really going to be using those. But inside of the main compartment, there's other compartments. And th these are things that I want to utilize in the best way. In the same case, I want to utilize the duffel bag in the best way because that's going to be my laundry situation and also my sleeping situation. And I'm going to utilize the jacket in the best way and that's going to be, you know, all the things that I need to immediately access. So there, that's what I'm going to go over. And this is kind of like a hiking survival type thing because me, I'm going true over the road and that's going to be what the majority of my YouTube channel is for now. So let me pause this and I'll unpack the backpack. All right, so I've completely emptied my backpack and this is everything that's in there. I'm gonna give you a breakdown of everything that is actually in my backpack and not all of it's gonna go back in, but I'm gonna tell you what goes back in uh, as I go. So, I'm gonna start over here. This is my Xbox controller, it goes to my laptop and that allows me to play video games fairly easily on my laptop. Um, the, of course, these are pictures of my niece and nephew, and I love them. And this is actually the rings that I'm still giving away on the YouTube channel. Um, clearly, that's the mouse, headphones, Bluetooth speaker, a couple pens. You know, I have a couple of these. There's actually another one there. I have a lot of extra wires. The big things you're looking at, that's my e-cig battery charger. I have a little one that just runs off a of USB. This is my TENS machine. That's for my back, and that's... That's what the pads and all that are for. That's all gonna that's gonna actually go in the backpack. I like where I had that. That stays in the backpack. The all, most of your, my digital things are gonna be in the backpack because that's I find it's easier to transport and more secure. And then we're also gonna look at that's an external battery pack. That's a, this is a microphone that goes with the camera and actually that's up there. Again, these are camera accessories: a selfie stick, a tripod, some a mount, you know, the the waterproof case. Even though that thing is a little busted now, that's okay. I'll get a nicer one later because I'm going to want multiple dash cams on, on the trunk that are my feed, not theirs. And then we go over here, and this is the drone, the extra battery for the drone, the remote for the drone, the charger for the drone. All that's going to go in the drone case. The drone case is going to go back in, into the backpack. I have my um, markers that are, you know, for art, and that actually goes with this, which is my mixed media uh pad which is actually doubles as a uh, board for my laptop this is my laptop and see it goes on there so that'll allow me to cool it and so they're gonna all that stuff is gonna go in there the extra shoes however yes I'm not wearing matching shoes now and there are the other shoes the extra shoes are gonna go into the duffel bag and there's some things in the duffel bag that are gonna go into the backpack and there's some things that are in the backpack that are gonna go into the duffel bag there's actually some things in the jacket that are going to go into the backpack and the duffel bag as well so external hard drive the wire for that the flash drive i actually have another flash drive in my jacket that's my playlist for the van i assume i'll be able to use it in the truck a pair of vice grips the vice grips are going to go into the duffel bag i know that much you know all the all the tools are going to go into the duff, duffel bag because i think that's more ideal for the for them to be uh, but the, I felt like a tape measure was a good idea. I thought vice grips are a good idea for me anyway because I vape. And it's a requirement to have those if you vape. And anybody who vapes knows what I'm talking about. If you don't, then you don't know what you're doing. Uh, but I also find that they're a very useful tool anyway. 
So yeah, that's everything that I had in my backpack. My backpack was pretty full, but I think I can do a little bit better with it as I repack it. And so I'm going to put the things that I know are going into the backpack into the backpack before I unpack the jacket. I'll show you what's left over that didn't go in there. All right, so that's uh, everything that I fit into the backpack. And I've repacked some things so I actually have more space. And now it's a point of making it so I still have expandable space in case I pick up things that I need to keep with me. And so now I have my shoes. They're going to go in the duffel bag. The tools are going to go in the duffel bag. And the knife's going to go in the jacket. The E6 stuff's going to go in the jacket. And the pens are going to go in the jacket. But I have stuff in the jacket that goes into the backpack. And I have stuff in the duffel bag that goes in the backpack. And vice versa. There's things that have to go in different places because of what I need to use them for. So the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, for the looks of things, I'm going to do the uh, duffel bag. And so let me pause this and we'll get to that. All right. So now what you're looking at is everything. Thing that was in that duffel bag and I'm gonna go over it and tell you what I got and I want to say I actually had to buy new pants like more more pants to be able to have the 10 outfits because you guys saw the rules 10 outfits so I actually bought more clothes to be able to do that and if I end up getting rid of some of my old stuff then that's cool I already have it I don't have to go out searching for things that I want so then I have here is a pile of both pants and shirts and also I have a hoodie here and that green thing over there is a hoodie the two these things they're uh, pillowcases because I didn't have room to bring pillows but I'm going to want my pillowcases because you can see they're fancy and my mom made them for me so it's kind of like a sentimental thing that I want to bring and sentimental is also for those of you that know my YouTube I brought two hats that's all I brought for now because that's what I had room for and they were the most condensable then I have a whole pile here that is thermals a bigger pile of underwear because if you know me then you I don't make fart jokes for no reason and then over here is a pile of socks you can see a lot of those odd socks because if you guys have been watching for a while you know why I have odd socks but the colored pencils they're actually going to go in the backpack I have two towels here one's a beach towel one's a regular towel and there's a reason for that uh, for those of you that are watching to see what you should be bringing for uh you were over the road or your, for your training and, and you're playing by the same rules or similar rules. Uh, I have two towels because depending on how often you use them, uh, you're, one could still be wet or one could be dirty and you're going to want another one before you have the opportunity to do laundry. I have a small thing of laundry detergent because I don't like that powder stuff. And then I have my shower supplies and that's going to be my nose trimmer, my hair trimmer and beard trimmer. Either of which could be used for both, really. Uh, one of them plugs off the wall, and the other one actually... Well, this one runs off of a wall plug, and this one actually charges and has a lithium battery. Uh, then I have, like, my extra razors, and my deodorants, and my soap, and some cologne. And more... Le you get the idea. I have plenty of stuff here, and now what I'm going to do... Oh, and I have my sleeping bag. That's actually in my duffel bag. I don't have to carry that separately. And so I'm going to pack all the stuff that goes into the duffel bag. The tools go in the duffel bag, although I do believe that the flashlight's going to go into the uh, backpack as well as the extra batteries. And I definitely know that the colored pencils are going into the backpack with the rest of the artistic type stuff because that makes sense to me. Um, and making sense in your own packing and being able to access the stuff that you want is going to be a priority for you. Now the sleeping bag bag, I'm going to keep this like this now because while i'm in the hotel i have an extra ability that i don't have in the truck and that's the in the hotel i have their shower i have their soaps and stuff but what i'm going to do with this bag that my sleeping bag is in once i'm actually in the truck with the trainer is i'm going to use this bag as my shower bag so i'm going to end up putting that stuff in there and then my new clothes and a towel are going to go in there and then when i go into the shower i'm going to use that stuff and put my dirty clothes back in here so it's a shower bag and i i've found this to be effective while i was living in the van and that's the point if, if you get into my channel my channel i'm at almost 500 videos now and i was living in a van for the majority of five years while i was making most of those videos although i did start the youtube channel before i moved into the van but i'm gonna go ahead and pause this and i pack everything back in my duffel bag or all the things that do and all the things that go into the the uh backpack and after i get done with that i'm gonna i'm gonna unpack my jacket and i'm going to show you all the stuff that go that was in the jacket so you guys will then know everything that i brought with the exception of a couple of private things 
and then you'll and then I'm gonna have everything packed and we're gonna show you that as the closing of the video of everything packed in but there are some things that are going into the jacket and there are some things you know I gotta shuffle things around and that's part of the purpose of me doing this video now was that I wanted to repack my stuff so it made more sense because a lot of times while I was packing I didn't have the duffel bag but I had the backpack and you know vice versa so I ended up packing things a little haphazardly so let me go ahead and do that and I'll get back to you. Alright, now that's everything that I had in my jacket. There's a few things here that are going to go into the backpack. I don't see anything that has to go into duffel bag. But I am also going to minimize my keychain because there's a lot of keys here that I'm not going to be using. Like the skeleton key goes to the chest that's inside of my van, the van key. I don't need to carry that with me. I don't want to lose it. The uh, bottle opener is on uh, my mom's house key. No, I don't even... Yeah, that's my mom's house key. Those things... I don't need to carry really any of these keys because they're not going to do anything for me. So the only thing I'm going to have on my keychain, I think... Well, I'm gonna, probably going to have the bottle opener and my, and my knife on my keychain because I don't need any of that while I'm out on the road. Uh, so yeah, so in the jacket, I had two pairs of gloves. One's my keep warm gloves. The other one's work gloves. I had... Uh, well, I, the this stuff's left over from the last one, but I had my sunglasses, I had a few wires, I had the uh, cigarette outlet plug-ins for dual charging of phones, and I also had an additional uh, plug-in to the wall outlet, and I have an e-cig batteries, and that's generally where I keep them anyway, but I'm going to charge them while I'm here. I have some anti-diarrhea pills, and I know I'll be able to get more later, but you never know when it's going to hit. Three bottles of e-juice, this is about a two to a three week supply. And I don't know how far I am from anything else. And then a picture of me with my grandma that my mom just gave me. Uh, the batteries and additional charger for the camera that I already went through. That's going to go in the backpack. The majority of this is going to end up in the backpack. But I, it was stuff that like last minute. I, there's something missing. Hold on. Oops. I didn't grab the USB flash drive that's in the van that has my playlist on it. But I have my playlist on my laptop and I have another flash drive. It's not a big deal. Uh, that flash drive is much larger than the one that's in the van too, uh, but it sticks out a little further. So it's you know it's, it's neither here nor there. I'm sure that's something I can pick up whenever because they're dirt cheap anyhow. But yeah, so that's everything that I brought with me. And if you don't think that you can survive with that much gear, then you kind of have a problem because I realistically still have space in my duffel bag and in my backpack. I could have brought more if I needed to, but I didn't feel like I need to. So anyway, uh, so if you guys enjoyed that and you want to uh, see what else my channel is about, you can go ahead and check out that video there. Or if you want to see what I'm like when I'm angry, you can go ahead and check out that video there. As always, guys, I want you to like the video, hit that subscribe button, and I really want to thank you for watching. I'll see all my friends later.